Hey there. Uh, today, let's talk about a trip that I made uh, to a friend's fountain pen shop. Now, this is uh, a shop in Bangkok. Uh, the pen uh, shop is called Pips Cafe. It's one of the most happening go-to kind of places in Thailand, uh, in Bangkok. And it's owned by a fountain pen aficionado, uh, a great guy called Mr. M. Now, uh, who has turned his passion into his business and uh, deals more uh, with what he likes than what makes simple business sense. So this is the kind of pen shop that one wants to visit and uh, spend hours and hours at an end as you sit there, talk and uh, you know exchange notes and play with pens generally. So this place, uh, well I was there before uh, the corona broke last I think in uh, 19, 2019 or 20 thereabouts so it's been a couple of years since I've been there and it was a great pleasure to go back unfortunately my idea was to do a video there and um, bring uh, and you know so that you could guys could also take part in this journey uh, in this afternoon that I spent uh, at the Pips Cafe. Now, unfortunately, I cannot, I could not do it because uh, Pips Cafe, when I went, when I landed up, was being renovated, and uh, we, while we did spend uh, a huge amount of time, keep chatting up uh, each other up and testing pens and testing inks and uh, you know generally doing the kind of things that we crazy guys do. Uh, but uh, there's no video but I have promised I have promised them and uh, they made me extract the promise that I go back pretty soon do a video because they are very keen uh, both um, Mr. M and his wife they're very keen uh, to reach out to fountain pen lovers here in India and uh, and generally exchange notes and uh, be friends with you guys. Now, uh, one of the reasons why I want, uh, why I keep going out there is that uh, the pens, that uh, of course the pens, the inks, the stationery, the writing paper, the Japanese papers, uh, the Korean inks, uh, I mean it's all there. but. Uh, I mean, it's a great place to buy pens from, and uh, naturally, I, I, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I bought from there. Now, uh, I wanted to show you something interestingly. I bought a lot of Wasi tapes. I bought a lot of Wasi tapes from uh, Thailand, uh, but more interestingly, I bought two pens. One, of course, is uh, this dip pen from. Uh, uh, Jack Harbin, uh, but uh, I haven't opened it. But uh, the pen that we will be discussing today is the Platinum Curidas. Now, uh, this is, of course, one of the favorite pens of uh, Mr. M, and uh, he highly recommended it. And uh, he wanted me to buy the transparent one. But, you know, me being a Mohan Bagan fan, I wanted to buy the maroon one. So here I am with uh, the one that I like. But uh, let us discuss this pen because this is a, a, a very interesting pen that has come up uh, in the last couple of years. And uh, it is, uh, I mean, I thought it's time that uh, we reviewed this pen for you guys. Now, um, of course, uh, this is that cardboard box with uh, almost life-size uh, 
imprint of the pen here but before we go and actually open this box this box has many things first there is the pen of course then uh, there is a converter this converter is not part of this box i had to buy it separately but inside the box interestingly you have a very detailed uh, you know user's manual that uh, explains everything about the pen i hope you guys can see this how to use the pen in different languages how to ink it how to clean the nib this that blah 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 everything it also has a, a you know a cartridge and this incidentally is the uh, you know contraption or uh, i don't know what to call it to open the nib now uh, that's it but uh, let's uh, go up and uh, open up the pen because i'm doing it for the first time i was saving it uh, to do it in front of you guys so here is the pen uh, uh, let's take off the uh, yeah. uh, here is the pen beautiful pen as you can see uh, platinum kuridas and uh, this is the back portion which you clip in to open the uh, nib out and uh, as you can see there's I, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not there's a cap inside that closes once uh, the nib retracts into the pen and uh, so this is pretty much airtight and uh, solves another problem so there won't be leaking and burping and drying up uh, problems hopefully uh, now because uh, i'm not in a position to make a comment on it because i have not used the pen uh, in the past this is the first time that i will be using it and this is the converter let's take out the converter and ink it up so here i am you open the pen like this uh, this has uh, you know a protracting cover inside which i hope the a will go in about how how do you or do you open it this 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 part can be opened and uh, let's oh my god <laughs> that was really difficult so what we did is we opened this uh, contraption out we bought and, and then uh, took out this part uh, fixed the <clears throat> converter into the nib section and put everything back together let's hope it works i mean uh, i'm i'm not a techie i'm not an engineer i'm just a fountain pen lover and uh, i uh, let me see if it works let me ink it up uh, so you have to open this up again to ink it up i get it i get it that's it Yes, yes, I can see the ink moving up. Uh, uh, this is the. It goes in like this. Yeah, and comes in like this. Okay.
Tulsi is awesome. I mean, uh, I have this thing about Japanese things. I, 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 I love the 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 lengths that they go to to perfect whatever they are doing. They, you know, you'll hardly find anything that's half-hearted. That's uh, that that represents cutting corners to achieve ends no they, they they go to the ends and this is the kind of results that they achieve uh, I, I I mean I love pens I have many more pens than I should normally have or any normal person should have I have always I mean for more than 30 35 years now I have spent every single day with a pen in my pocket and <clears throat> when I say that this is the kind of pen that uh, one you know looks forward to carrying in the pocket or writing with then it means something and uh, I'm, 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 I'm just I'm floored. Floored is the word. I'm floored. Feels good to hold in the hand and click. Uh, clicks open. It's a bit complicated, uh, but once you do it the first time, uh, inking up, of course, uh, it's. I mean, it's just another way of inking up. Otherwise. It's nice. I mean, I'm loving it. And thank you, Mr. M. And uh, those of you who were waiting for this pen, I think you should go forward and get it. Nice pen. And uh, I trust the Japanese to come up with uh, things like this. Looks good. It's too plasticky, but otherwise it's fine uh, I don't know why this is for or uh, the clip design is also different but very nice pen overall and the writing pleasure is simply out of the world so I think you should go and get yourself one. Thank you.